Hello and what's up Madlang people! It's been a while, I haven't posted any videos for you guys. I have been busy with work and also with online collaboration that I did. I think most of you have seen the video and perhaps you are interested how we did it. So I'll tell you a, a little bit of story behind it. It was Alex, the lead vocalist of my band Sato Culprits. He was the one who organized it and because um, he saw my collaboration with uh, Becca and he said that the song Shallow would be a good um, team up between the three of us. So at first I wanted to do a different version so I did a piano backing track for that one and when I sent it to him uh, he wasn't too sure because he wanted the original one so I learned it on the guitar and played a backing track and he was satisfied about it but it took a while because need, he needed to record his uh, track. Uh, he recorded a separate track for the vocals and the video and then we sent it to Becca. Becca did uh, as well but with Becca uh, she recorded the audio track but with the backing track not just like uh, vocals only and then um, we asked her if she can send a video as well because it was just the audio track and it didn't look nice that on the collab uh, video it was only Alex and myself so uh, when Becca redo or did another uh, cover she wanted uh, that Alex um, vocals will be on that backing track so I send it but then when she sent it back it was recorded already it was mixed already her vocals the backing track plus Alex's um, vocals and then the video and then Alex came up with the idea of putting a piano but then when I made the guitar backing track I didn't put a click on the first uh, few bit so I couldn't join in at the, at the beginning of the song uh, with the piano because it's hard to find the exact timing that when the guitar starts, I can hit it on, on the dot. Um, also, my timing on the guitar varies as well, so it's difficult for me. So I did a couple of takes with the piano. Uh, one track, Alex said that the piano was off timing. Then the next bit, the piano was a bit uh, too too loud. Um, it should have been a bit lower than the guitar. And then the last or the final cut, the piano was too low. And I said I couldn't redo it anymore. But anyway, um, it was done. I, I, and I'm sure you're interested as well how I edited it. I was just using my iPad to edit the video. And I'll share it to you guys. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, guys. So, all of the tracks are already here. Um, Becca's video, Alex's video, my video as the backing track. And then, we've used um, Box for our um, tracks. Uh, for the audio tracks. So, I've downloaded it already. And I put it on... The garage band and so when I use this one as you can see there's my movie too um let's start with uh, the other project it was my movie one um there it is the audio tracks are there underneath so it's this bit is the piano that one and then how I created that is very tricky i started with my video as the backing track the guitar track and then i paired it with alex's video and initially it wasn't like that um that's the one it was initially like that and i put alex's video there and then save it obviously with the audio track so that we're somewhat synced to the audio track then save this then upload again or edit again where I added 
um, I think I added this one first yeah that one first so again save it and then this is the the, the saved video already um, in case you're wondering how I put that one you need to go to this area where you add uh, a video I actually I, I put a link on how you can put a uh, picture on picture or overlay but just a recap you go to where the videos that you wanted to to put like the piano bit click that one and then the three dots there click it cut away picture and picture split screen it was picture on picture that i used and then it will go a smaller window there you can just pinch and enlarge it to how big you want it and then that's it uh, there's already three sort of videos all together i saved it and then after i saved that one i added i think becca's video save it again and then i added again this one so that's the last bit what happened was because back again it was like that is isn't it and then i added the piano now when i added becca's there my it looks like that becca is over here save it again and then do another one that's the last bit and then i again uploaded the audio tracks separately so that's how i did it but um as i said um alex was a bit critic with with our uh, video or um our collaboration and he wasn't that um satisfied so i did another version which became this one my movie too and this time around what i did was it's almost the same process uh, of my video first but i use his own track uh, without the separate vocals which is coming from the audio was coming from the phone when he recorded his video save it balance it out and save and then when we reach this area that one the uh, the recorded audio from the video save it and then added Becca's save it and then that one I just muted that because the the instruments and the vocals are already complete so I added that last bit that's it and that's how we did our collaboration so they just sent me videos and their audio track and then I did it and it didn't work because we wanted a different mix so I used their video track with their audio uh, when they're singing so it wasn't compressed it wasn't edited or mixed it was just coming from the video itself but i had to save edit save edit to create this four um squares there or four videos sort of um all together and that's it guys uh, i hope this one helps and those who wanted to do like a collaboration you can use your iPad or iPhone and then iMovie and it's a bit uh, tricky at first but once you get used to it you'll be able to do it um, like a hack or an improvised version because I think there's a program specific for this one but it worked it worked for us so I'm just sharing it to you guys it might not be that clear to you but I'm always here, you can message me and I'll answer or help you with it. And I'll put the link on how to overlay so that at least you will know that part. Uh, this one, as a recap, when I added this video, I save it and then upload that one with this video. Then I put this video here, save it, then upload it again. Added Becca's video, save it. And that's the last bit so yeah it's quite a long process and then if it's not sync or if the volume are not balanced so all of those things needs to be considered until you get it right 
So that's it guys. Um, thanks for watching. It's almost midnight. So good night and see you again soon. Bye.